By His grace, I don't know how much a bottle of oxygen cost. Only doctors can tell us. But God has given you oxygen free. Without the charge. I don't know how much you pay for lights. Nepa, or what they call them. They give you bill. But God has never given you bill for the son he has given to you. Huh? And the songwriter say, I cannot breathe without At the back of his mind, he knows that he wants to create you to represent him on earth. And you cannot walk on the sea. Yam cannot grow on top of water. So what he did was to create light. Let there be light and there was what? Light. I asked God, why did you create man last? One day, I've been asking him that question. One morning as I was taking my bath, I heard a voice in the bathroom. If I had created man last, man would have been in darkness as he are. If I have created man last, man would have been in darkness. So he created you in light and you have to walk in light. Can you shout darkness go? I'm not hearing you well. One more time. So there are 30 days that you need to carry anywhere you go. Every day that he loves you. Can you put your right hand on your chest that he loves me? Again. One more time. He loves you. No matter what the enemy is doing, he wants to paint something so that you will see that thing and say, God is not there. It's a lie. Everybody say a lie. He loves you. It was not the nail that held Jesus on the cross. But no, no nail can hold him on the cross. It was because of love. It was the love he has for you that held him on the cross. I can use my power. But then man would have been CB a cost man. I can use my strength. I can call legions of angels to come to fight. But how would man be? Oh! Thus far of receiving every stroke of the cane for man, I will still continue. They gave me vinegar to take, he didn't drink it. The purpose of that vinegar is for him not to feel the pain. The Bible says, when he tested it that it was vinegar, he did not drink it. I want to receive that pain so that man will not receive it. Can somebody shout hallelujah? He went straight to the cross. If he had died on the road, the salvation wouldn't have been completed. Because cause is he that is hung on the cross. He was weak and tired. After carrying a body in the garden of Gethsemane, he prayed until the sweat turned to blood. Can you see make it? Yes, I will make it because of love. And on the cross, when he finished off, he said, Lord, it is finished. It is finished. Into your, into your hands. I 
commit my spirit. He gave up the ghost because of love. We give him thanks. We give him thanks. Can you just give him thanks for what he has done to you? Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I want you to ask something from God this morning. Asking for great things this morning. Asking for something that is great. His presence is here.
God to heal that your leg. You cannot heal it. He healed it by himself. Because he loves you. For you to see grace like this and you are happy every day. Because he was there. For you to be alive today, and by the hand of His miracle, give Him thanks. Yahweh, my name is Yahweh. You are a miracle working God. Your name is Yah. Oh, Hallelujah! Your name is Yah. You are a miracle working God. Your name is Yah. Oh, we call you Yahweh. Thanksgiving of what? Of open doors. We were here on Wednesday. And while we were praying, the Lord just spoke to me 
This is Thanksgiving of open doors. When it comes like this, say, thank you, my children. Uh, can you see the agape and all the children clapping their hands? And I have my... Uh, keep on clapping, keep on clapping. Agape, keep on clapping. He said he's going to use the babes. I know when God speaks. When a prophetic word comes forth like this, that means that is the mind of God and the will of God that will come forth, especially in Thanksgiving for next year. Hear me, please. In John chapter, chapter 4, verse 10, Jesus answered that woman by the word side and he said, If thou knowest the gift of God and who it is that say ye to thee, give me to drink, thou would have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. If thou knowest, The gift of God that is presence. He said, you will ask him. If you don't ask him, that gift cannot be your own. But the thing is that knowledge is needed. Information is needed. So one day Jesus was crying. He said, oh, Jerusalem, I wish you know your day of visitation. It's not the time given, but the meaning of time given, and for you to prepare yourself to receive from Him. If not, it will just be like an ordinary celebration and you go home. It happened to Solomon. He gave God thanks with all his heart, with all his mind, with his substance. So many things he gave to God, but he did not go to the next step. Until God to ask him, tell him, oh boy, what do you want me to do for you? So you need to understand. Yeah, of thanksgiving. Even me too, God taught me the revelation. Because he came with a different heart. I've decided that throughout next week will be my day of prayer, personal prayer, for the thanksgiving. And I'm asking God for one great thing to do for me. Do you know that we are inviting God? We are inviting the Holy Ghost. We are inviting Jesus himself to be present because we want to give them thanks. If you but know, it's not just coming. But to give him thanks with all your heart and also to go home with blessing. Can you shout, I'm coming to collect blessing. Your voice is too dim. Understanding the season. That's why the Bible says, my people are perish for lack of knowledge. Information understood gives you knowledge. And knowledge acted by on it, acted by, gives you wisdom. And wisdom directs you. Can you shout, I am coming to collect? The reason of thanksgiving. What is your reason of giving him thanks? Why do you want to give him thanks? Number one, he created you. Number one is that, is what? He created you. Whether you are a male 
or female. He created you for a purpose. Whether you are short or tall, he created you for a purpose. Aki and Popo today, he created them for a purpose and then we are able to know the purpose of why they were created. And they're making ways. Number one, he created you for a purpose. Number two, he has delivered you from the powers of darkness. Colossians chapter 1 from verse 12 to 14. Colossians chapter 1 from verse 12 to 14. Can we read it? One to go. Giving thanks unto the Father, which had made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life. Paul said he must give him thanks. That you are not qualified at all. But he had made you to be qualified to partake of those things which he has kept for the saints. Which Abraham had, Isaac had. That he has opened the treasure house for you to go in. And he said, give him thanks. But we want to see the next verse. Give us the next verse. Can we read the one to go? Who has delivered us from the powers of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Can you shout, I am no more in darkness? I'm not hearing you well. One more time. from the powers of darkness and it translated me it transferred me into his kingdom of his dear son whom he gave, gave us out of love I was talking to my mom yesterday. She was telling me some stories when I was young. That I was so sick. I see if I want to die. Until they used knife, blade, and begin to tear my face. My stepmom. Because all the one my biological mom had, I mean children had. They were dying. And one day my mom carried me, took me to her, and called my father. From henceforth, this child is no longer my own. It's your own. And she left. But the powers that killed those children cannot kill me. Because I was dedicated in the church at the age of three months. Fear. Why won't I give God thanks? No darkness will cover you in the name of Jesus. So for you to be alive, for you to be what you are now, it is wickedness for you not to appreciate him. Because when you are sleeping, snoring, he refuses to sleep. Am I saying something here? When you go back home, take a paper and begin to write all the good things that God has done for you and see whether you'll be able to complete one book.
That's how, God, how great God is. Ephraim, for you to be alive, you will eat your Ogogoro drinking and so on and so forth. And Ogogoro power was controlling you. But one crusade that you went to, it snatched you out of the hands of the enemy. And now put you into his kingdom that he can go and challenge the devil and say, go in the name of Jesus and he obeys you. If you want to clap, you better clap. No man can do this. Because even in Je in Je Michael was unable to fight the devil or what he said, the Lord rebuke you. But the moment you appear, darkness disappears because you are in the light. Raise up your right hand and say, Father, thank you. I'm not hearing you well. <laughs> One more time. Some of you, you have not, you have not seen, you have not seen attack of some powers. We have seen a lot. And no scratch, nothing. It's not by mind, it's not by power. So give him thanks. We are alive today because of his power. Number two, number three. Give him thanks because he said you are saved by grace, kept by grace, and keep moving by grace. Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 5 to 8 Can we read? Want to go? Even when we were dead in sin had Christian us together with Christ by grace by grace I was by grace We are dead in sin. He looked at us and said, All oh, this walk away, they walk away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my friends, I was telling him when we met, I said, Oh boy, in England, after exam, we are free. We have entered into summer. So we can go to one party, from another party, to another party, to another party, to another party, to another party. So we are going from one pub to another pub. One place we went. If you buy anything, they give you glass together. So after when we finish, we carried our glass on our way going. Urine. My friend now want to urinate. He looked everywhere. Was uh, nowhere. He cannot go there anywhere and say he want to. They will arrest you and call the public nuisance. So he used the glass in the car. Why he was Virginia was for me, for me, for me, for me, for me, for me. By the time you know. It's in a field of and some still remain inside. So it was a problem. We went to Southern we are looking at we had to pour this thing. We saw one policeman and said, oh boy, if you put put this in here, you'll be arrested. Though. And yet some were some were still inside. Today there's a church in his house. If you want to clap for God, clap for him. <laughs> Where well, we are yet sinners. When we are, we are yet sinners, he was just looking at all. But one day, he grabbed us and said, This is not the way I created you. I created you for a purpose. Can you put your hand for this mighty God? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friend, I was telling him, Oh boy, if not God, you. Went to a party, put his beer. By the time he go to dance, he come back. These white people, they have grabbed the beer. By the time he come, glass was empty. So it's okay, I'll catch you. He carried the empty glass to the toilet and urinated. The color looked like beer now. So foam was there. He brought it and carefully kept it there. Then went to dance and was looking at the table with the eye of his, with the tail of his eye. And this white white boy came, thief to steal. 
If you escape in one day, you will not be escaped. Grace will expire. I said, grab the butt, the cap. Pa, pa, pa. He said, nah. <laughs> Nigerians. And I said to him, oh boy, thank God today. We are open again. Put your hand together for the Lord Almighty. That's what he can do for us. It's not by your works, eh? It's not by your works. It's not by your works. The white man go, go drink peace and say, ah, it doesn't taste like beer. Yes, it will never taste like beer. Go to the next verse. Verse 6. Give us verse 6. And had raised us up together and made us to do what? Where? What a man thing. Upon all that mess where you messed up. Huh? You remove all those shit where you shit. Clean it up. Give you another nappy. Powdered you. Give you another clothes. Then come. Now me and you will make a go sit for where my papa did. And the father did not ask him. Where is this boy? He didn't ask him. You are useless. He said sit here. And the heavenly father was happy. That my son, who was sometimes lost, has come. So Paul was saying, Give him thanks. Go to the next verse. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of what? Of his grace, kindness towards us through Christ. Go to the next one. Can we all read this one by? For by grace ye are saved through faith, that not a hey, it is what the gift of God. God just does you. Can you clap hand for this God? When he delivered us, he gave us armor to wear so that the arrows of the enemy will not be able to touch us. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 11 to 12. He gave us the Holy Spirit in full. John chapter 14 verse 6. And he said, when I leave, I'm going to send the Holy Ghost to you. He will remain with you. He will live in you. The Holy Spirit. He has shown the believer of sonship. Makes him son-like. In Romans chapter 8 verse 17. 16 and 17. He said this. He said, you have not received, give me 17, 17, for you have not received, for you have not received, Romans chapter 8, verse 17, no, give me 16 first. The spirit is said, bear that witness with our spirit, that we are what? The children of God, this Holy Ghost, bear that witness with our spirit, that we are the children of God. Then 16 and 17, give us, give me 16. And if children, then heirs and heirs of God, and joint heir with Christ. In other words, whatever Jesus has is your own. He gave you the Holy Spirit. And in 15, he said, For you have not given the spirit of bondage and again to fear, but you have been given the spirit of what? Adoption. Whereby you can cry to him, Abba, Father. You have not received. Can you shout, I am free? The Holy Spirit full. You can speak in tongues that the enemy will not understand. And that is the reason why he must give him thanks. In Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. He opened the door for you. Which no man can can shut 
Revelation chapter 3. Can we read it? Want to go? Behold, I have set before thee an open what? Doors. And no man can do what? No one can shut that door. I would say no man. I'm not here anywhere. <laughs> Again. When God has approved something for you. <laughs> eh. <laughs> Even if the one computer you use computer to mark you, that computer will crash. Because of you. When he has opened the door, the whole world can say anything. But you just believe whom you are in him. And if God is standing by you, no man, everybody say no man. Again. No man, no man, no man, no man, no man. No man. No man. He has opened a door for you. And no man can shut that door. That's the reason why he must give him thanks. Number six, he has given you the privilege to ask anything in his name and he will do it for you. John chapter 14, verse 14. Ask anything in his name. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. This was not given to Moses. Abraham, what's the Abraham looked for this, he didn't see. That's what Jesus said. <laughs> he looked for my glory. He sought for this day at Mount Moriah when he went to sacrifice Isaac. He saw Jesus being crucified on the cross and the glory that was coming upon the earth. And Jesus said before Abraham, I am. He did not give him a name. In fact, when he met Moses, he said, I'm going to reveal my name to you and Jehovah. Jehovah means he is the one that created himself who no man can create. He said, this name was not revealed to Abraham, but I've revealed my name to you. <laughs> but you, he has, he has revealed his glory to you, and that his glory is Jesus. It's who? Jesus. Call that name. Jesus. Call it again. A third time. A fourth time. A fifth time. A sixth time. Now only seven times. That was why he said John is the greatest prophet. He said, Behold the Lamb, he saw him. The rest did not see him. Now, no demon can hold you for 21 days because there's a name that you have. And in the name of Jesus, every knee shall do what? Ah, clap your hand for this Jesus. That's the reason why you need to give him thanks. By grace are you saved? By grace he kept you. And by grace we are moving forward. Am I saying something here? Yeah? Open oh, all what is happening. Think how are you how are they eat? How 
like you eat. You don't know what you are eating. Because you are planted in the river of the Holy Spirit. Do you know this recession is worse in the north? Some say there are some cities in the north, they don't have even bread to eat. But God is keeping you. That's why Paul say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. You can do all things through him. But the question is this. Your attitudes towards the thanksgiving. You want to come and give God thanks. Number one, don't find your face when you're coming to give him thanks. Am I saying something here? Never you make mistake for the enemy to talk to you of what went wrong this year. No. What went wrong yesterday that those things you have been asking for that God has not given it to you. Never you be sad over it when you are coming to his presence. It's a trick of the enemy to, to stop you. Let me ask somebody here. So how are you going to feel if your if your wife prepare food to give to you? Then I am a front face. Bah! If they eat, make you eat. Huh? I will feel bad. Say it, let your wife hear. I will feel bad. Say it will feel bad. bad. Is that true? Yes. And perhaps want to know why she did that. Yes. So the man will feel this is a poison. I can we eat it? Thank you, sir. If your husband here, are you going to feel bad too? Want to? Hey, are you going to feel bad? Here now, make your wife here. Let your majesty here. Are you going to feel bad? I'll be angry. <laughs> Am I saying something here? So you don't come to give God thanks by frowning your face. That day be very careful. Be very what? Careful. You see, many a times we miss our miracles. Because we come to church with, when you look at the pastor, why did they do so? Some carry book begin to quote, he quote the scripture wrong. Now so it's supposed to be. He don't know which angle the Holy Ghost is going. Ten lepers came to Jesus. The first leper, he said, can you touch me if you can? Jesus touched him. Is that true? They turn, he said, go. And show yourself to the priest. Jesus didn't touch them. So the whole, the way the Holy Ghost moves, you don't know. So don't come to his presence and begin to, if they say give this, if you have give. But praise God. So that you go home with your blessing. Don't question God. Am I saying something here? He can't tell a guy God. He can't showcase God.
Somebody came to me one day for counseling. While I was counseling him, I said, God, what is it? He said, just raise your hand and praise me. My power will follow him. No prayer. I said, Father, thank you for what you're doing. In the name of Jesus. The next night I saw the man fell, hit his head on my... There was no usher to guide him. Or my shia there. I fear whether the man didn't die. It was just lying down flat. So I left him. Anytime you wake up, you go home. That is what God said I should do. And I did it at that time. But I cannot be raising hand on anybody I see in a lie. Am I here? At that time, that's what God wants. A lady came to me one day. He said, Pray for me. And, and the Lord said, Don't, don't pray, just breathe upon her. <sighs> go home. So don't bring a exercise book here to mark God and put yourself in trouble. Am I saying something here? Anyhow you want to dance, dance. Can somebody shout hallelujah? So many people have found themselves in trouble because of overknowledge. Overknowledge. David was dancing until he was naked. Almost naked. Thanking God. He doesn't care. And his wife who came from the royal house. A king's daughter. Stayed at the window. Look at him. He does not even know the rule of being a king. They dance in the presence of the maid, in the presence of everybody. Look at him. When she was doing that, David was not there. It was her mind. And the Bible said God blocked her womb. Shake somebody and say, don't put yourself in trouble. When he came to watching everything, she began to challenge him. He said, this was the way I was praising God before he kicked your father out of the throne and gave to me. I will continue. Look at someone and say, continue to praise him. Don't frown your face. But you know, was preaching one day and he made a statement. One lady said, and she made that sign. A stone came into her. I was reading one of his book. Problem. She was going from one prayer house to another place, all sorts of indistinctness, nobody knows the nation. I read in one of his book. But she went to a man of God. He said, Why did he go do one man of God? So he came. She came to him. Please forgive. He said, Go, you are free. He didn't go. So be very careful. When you come to his presence, no matter what you have gone through, throw it away. Come with joy. Come with what? Joy. Again, come with meekness and humility. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28, Paul made this statement. He said, I know, for I know that all things for I know, I know, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. Everyone say all things. All things. Again. All things. One more time. So you don't know that that problem you entered. God want to, from there, take you to somewhere. Joseph saw that his brothers, all of them, bowed down to him. But did he know he's going to go to prison? Did he know that he was going to be sold as a slave? But they landed in prison from prison to where? To prison to where? I must say all things. Work it together 
for good to them that love God and to them whom he have called according to his word purpose but the way he's taking you to he knows the will he knows the way you don't know the way he knows that there's going to be murder there but he has already provided a solution to solve that problem and he has been solving problem for you put your hand together for the Lord give God a good hand that's why you need to you need to give him thanks somebody's having pain here you are healed in the name of Jesus his hand is over everywhere and somebody uh, you are kneel your right leg the cup you are healed I want to close with this. David is Psalm 91, Psalm 9. Give me Psalm, Psalm 9, verse 1. Psalm 9, verse 1. Everyone stand up. Can we read it? Want to go? I will praise thee, O Lord. With my whole heart, I will show forth all thy marvelous work. I will do what? With what? With all my heart. Not half heart. All the marvelous things that you have done for me. You think David did not go through problem? He went through problems. But the problems did not consume him. That is why he said, many are the affliction of the righteous. But what happened? Oh! You will never die in shame. May shame be far away from you in the name of Jesus. There are times you think God is no longer there. But all of a sudden he just appeared and carry you with his wing. Go to verse 2. Can we read one to go? I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praises to thy name. Oh, thou most high God. I'll be glad and rejoice of what you have done for me. Ah, you call me one day that your daughter has given birth you will be happy the other one has given birth you will be happy the other one want to marry you will be happy now we do one for you I will be glad I will be rejoicing whether you like it or not it not concern me all what I know I will sing praises to his name. Oh, the most high God. Give us verse 3. Can we read this together? Want to go? When my enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. And they begin to run while they were running. They are, they are, the, the road became will become slippery, and the angels of God begin to pursue them. Pia! Bye. I will praise him. Go to the next one. Can we really want to go? For thou hast maintained my right and my cause. Thou set us in thy throne. Can somebody shout hallelujah? I want to stop here. Not only that. You come with dancing. You come with what? Do you know when you are dancing, you are, you are marching the head of the enemy? For his mercy endure it forever. Two 
judgment come upon the enemy with two edged sword as you begin to use his word to praise him judgment upon the enemy as you begin to praise him on high Jehoshaphat said no 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 oh this battle is not my own it's God's own the only way for God to appear is by praises all Christ are set in front what is that with what with your instrument of praises hey no sword nothing yes this battle is not your own it's God's own as they we are singing and praising God shouting let his mercy endure it forever God looked down through the blood and his mercy changed his anger changed to mercy then his anger went forward to the enemy and destroyed all of them by the time they arrived there they have killed them may God could put conviction in the life of the enemies your amen is too paralyzed You don't know what God is doing. This night in the spirit, I was battling with somebody. Battling with carry him down. I said, fire, fire begin to burn him. I said, this man will die now. <laughs> that is his presence. Fire will devour every enemy that pursued you in the name of Jesus. Come with a substance in your hand. No time I would have spent time to teach, but I want to close because Paul is there. All of them are watching me. Come with the substance in your hands, give to him with all your heart. If there's money, give to him something that will cost you, and again, you can also give him souls that you have won. Father, this year I have won so so souls. I give all of them to you. Can somebody shout hallelujah? hallelujah? Last week I was not here, me. Last week Sunday, I was not here. I left. I left. I went to one of our church where Sandra is to see the church. As I went there and I prayed for them. As I came out from there, who went with me? Uh-huh. Don't know you huh? Kelly took went with me. We all saw some. I saw youths gathered somewhere. They were almost 20, 20 something. And I stood there, beginning to minister to them. Some of them are Muslims. As I was talking, some people were coming. They joined them. And I said, now let's go into the church. And all of them, 21 of them, followed me. All, all. I said, sit down there. And they sat. Some of them were wearing nicker. Follow me. If I want, I grab his hand. I say, hey, follow me. I don't know him. And the guy was just following me. I said, come and sit down there. Souls for his kingdom. Can you put your hand together for him? This is what God can do. Follow him can do it. And Chris called me. He said they went there to all of them were there, including one elderly man. They were all digging ground. We had to put some, I mean, to, to build the church. All of them were there. 21 of them give their life to Christ. The same thing, I went to one of our town, very close to Tumbia. I don't know who went with me that time. Okay, you two. Uh huh. That one was 25. The next house, very close to the church. And when there, somebody was eating. They were eating. I said, follow me. I said, oh, sir, we want to eat. The other one said, close the food. They closed the food. And they followed me to the church. By his spirit. By his spirit. There's anointing in your hand. In this thanksgiving, there's an open door that will give you access to your throne. In the name of God the Father. God the Son and God the Holy Ghost. I said again, you are going to dance. You are going to praise him. You are going to dance as you have never danced before. Am I saying something here? Don't look at somebody here. When Papa died during the service, 
We did it in New York Center outside. And we were taking it to, to the grave. Go on was there. He came. Our former head of state. So there were plastics here. He went and carried his own. And was going to keep. Somebody ran after him. To, he said, leave it. You two go and carry your own. I'm carrying this for God. You to go and carry. That's no big man. Praise the Lord. This place is hot. Praise the Lord. It's not. Put your hand together for God Almighty. Never you come here with the mind of criticism. Some who think that they know more. They miss the blessing when the Holy Spirit is passing by. It's a to be focused to grab their own and go. So you see, the same thing keep on continuing every year because of that problem of criticizing. This one didn't do well. He didn't do that. This he's supposed to praise like this. Look at the way she did dance. Look at the way they talk. Look at the way they do. The scripture way he quote it was wrong. He begin to it supposed to put is he put was there. And God is telling you, I did not bring you here to mark English. Praise him. Everybody say praise him. Go ahead and help me this. I will praise him. I will praise him. I will praise him with my whole heart, with my own soul, with my own self. Bless and people. Praise thy Lord.